I finally posted my app to Hacker News and the response that I got, it humbled me. Whenever you work on some new idea, some new app, a new MVP, you're never quite sure if it's relevant. You want to make it really perfect and add just this one more feature to it so that when people use it for the first time, they are more sure to like it. However, this prevents you from actually shipping it and getting the reaction of your users to see if people actually care about what you're putting all your energy into. When I talk to other software people that also want to do similar things like coding up an app or starting a startup, they fall into this trap that they want to over-engineer everything before releasing it. And the same thing, it's happened to me too. It's how I got into programming. I had a really ambitious idea of how to build a language learning app and I worked on it for a long time. I built a really fancy learning algorithm and a lot of really neat, cool features. Back then, I also posted it to Hacker News and I think I got like two upvotes and one person actually called me because, you know, I left my number actually, I think on the, on, on the app, like on, there was an about page and that was, that was really cool to, to get that kind of response. At the same time, I had put all this energy into it and clearly there wasn't really that much enthusiasm from the outside about my work and my energy I had put into this. And I think that's okay. You have to live with it and sort of understand how the world works and just work on things that are more relevant. You have to see that you can work on things that people actually care about. And truth be told, this response I think is normal. I have a friend who tried to do a startup with socks, so he wanted to sell socks. And I think his marketing strategy was pretty cool. So the ads he had, they were nice, like his branding was good, but he didn't really end up selling many socks. He later told me he considered it to be, to be a bit of a failure, mostly a learning experience, which I agree on. And I think that's a really good mentality and the right approach. You should learn as you go. And success is definitely not taken for granted. To me, it's important though that I learn from this. So I want to learn how to properly evaluate an idea, if it's valid or not, if people are interested in it, and only then invest energy into it. And the latest MVP that I built, the latest small app, it was a great example because it was an easily, when you build an app like this, as an engineer, as someone who has the idea, you have so many ideas and you see so many things that you could build in there and invest into it. So it was very sobering for me to take a step back and think, okay, what are the bare bone minimum things that I need to do to get this out of the door and just have it leave a good and positive impression on people. So that's what I did. And that is also what I documented on this channel. So the question for me was, how can I validate the energy I put into this? How can I know if I should put more energy into this? And in many ways, to me, this led up to me posting it to Hacker News. I had posted my app to Reddit before, but the response there was lackluster, which is, as I said, to be expected. And I think partly this is because Reddit doesn't necessarily encourage this kind of stuff. It's self-promotion and so on and so forth. I think Hacker News is a better place to post ideas like this. I finally posted my app to Hacker News and I got a really nice response. I got about 14 upvotes, which to the, un the uninitiated might not sound like a lot, but giving the context I was just talking about of giving, getting like one or two or zero upvotes, it's quite nice. I got a few comments, five or six that were really positive, massively positive. Even one really thoughtful one that su suggested a feature I got, about, I got some positive comments on my YouTube channel, a lot of encouragement, people telling me that the design is really nice, that I should keep working on it. So that was really nice, encouraging and humbling, and I'm grateful for that. And something that really blew me away is that overall I got around 300 users on my app. On the first day it was 220, and then the next couple of days even there were some users culminating in around 300 users. So that was pretty nice and 
to me, yeah, this was very humbling. This was just really nice to finally get some validation and some feedback that it's a good idea to invest more energy into this app. So to recap, I had a idea for an app. I built it in a few weeks as opposed to a few years. I posted it to enough places to finally get a nice response, get nice validation of people saying they like it. Got 300 users, which is a lot. And for me, this means I'm going to invest more energy into it. My next goal is to get user retention. So I would like to have five, 10 or a hundred monthly active users that use the app on a regular basis. So I need to work on making the app more enjoyable in the long term. These are not, these are big problems because if I solve them, I'm quite happy, but they're also not big problems because they're to be expected. After all, I made the whole point about cutting corners and getting a bare bones product out there for people to say if they like it, if they use it. And now that I know they like it, I can add some more features. What I'm going to work on is, so something I kind of finished, but haven't published is a leaderboard. It's something that I'm working on right now and that is nearly finished, but that was really difficult to develop is a multiplayer feature. So the multiplayer is working. It was very tedious to get it there though. And right now, Two people can play against each other but then it all breaks when more people join i had to uncover a lot of sort of hidden bugs and like weird things that weren't really that i couldn't really find in documentation that i fixed and yeah now things work a bit better i hope that the multiplayer and the leaderboard will make the app a bit more fun the problem being low retention i understand it fully because i myself i i, I used the app i understand it that it's nice and flashy, but after some time you kind of get the gist and you get bored or just like whatever, you use it for a minute or so, it's a bit fun and then you stop using it like a little toy, which it is, and then you move on to the next thing in your life and you don't really have a need to come back. The app is not really optimized for you to learn anything, it's just like a little silly game. And so it's totally understandable that it loses its attraction quite quickly and I hope that with making it more competitive and gamifying it more by adding multiplayer and leaderboard it will be more long-term engaging because you can chase the leaderboard position and you can play against real other people. The multiplayer feature is also a risk and a big learning which makes it worth it for me. I learned a lot building this multiplayer feature. It's a big risk because I need then at least needs to be two people willing to play multiplayer. I probably will develop a really simple bot to minimize this problem, but it will be inevitably a bit tricky to have a multiplayer in an app that is barely used. But yeah, overall, I'm quite happy. Getting this overwhelmingly positive response from Hacker News with lots of positive comments and 300 people trying out my app. It has really humbled me, it's really touching, it's quite nice building something and having it be used by people in this way and it gave me the signal to build more nice features and then from there I can see if I should invest more energy into it or maybe start something new. Thanks for watching, hope you found this interesting and have a great day, bye.